Hello Floss Tube, my name is Tamara and in today's video I wanted to show you what I have decided to start uh, this uh, summer. I mean like uh, my first uh, designs. Uh, the interesting thing is that after uh, my mega project of my this mega bat mega project of mine where during all spring I was starting a new uh, design every week. I was sure that I will be sick and tired of stitching, of filming, and uh, I will uh, take a, a vacation, a cross-stitch vacation, at least for two weeks. But I was surprised that after, you know, like uploading the video, the last video of uh, spring, I was like very eager to stitch. I was very eager to start new project, something fresh, uh, something out of the blue, so not planned. And uh, one more reason is that um, on Instagram started a, a nice uh, um, stitch along uh, organized by one of the Ukrainian uh, stitchers. It's called Summer Just Nan. During summer, we are going to stitch uh, uh, Just Nan. So uh, if you're going to see the hashtag just uh, summer just then you you'll see uh, these uh, the beginnings the projects which are being used there, which are um, being stitched there so it's going to be interesting and um, um, there is a number of people who decided that they want to uh, give um, a present to the the ones who are participating participating to this uh, sal so Usually the Russian teachers are calling them sponsors. Um, so in the end, uh, all the finished works will participate in a contest and uh, the randomizer is going to choose each or other work and uh, which uh, sponsor is giving the present, something like this. I participated uh, last uh, year in such a, in such a SAL and I uh, got a prize. So. This time I decided that, um, taking into account that this is just Nan, and I am a very big lover of just Nan, I will give myself a little present to one of the participants of this uh, SAL. And uh, my uh, choice is this uh, small design. This is char a charm school design, uh, which I will um, fill in with all the materials so that it will be, this one is going to be a kit. Okay, a mini kit, but a kit. So this is Butterfly Lace by Just Nan. It's uh, the chart, the original chart. It's quite an old design. It's from 1999. So it's almost 22, the 22 years the design has. Uh, so um, here the main thing is such a flutter butterfly bead, which I have, and I have one for myself as well. That's why I'm showing this one to you to tell you about the um, this uh, cell, <laughs> and uh, because um, I want to stitch this design as well during the summer, so I decided that I'll stitch it for for myself. I'll just make a copy of the chart, and I have a butterfly for myself as well. So what is required here, actually, it's a casual 28 count white. Also DMC threads, I didn't bring them here because it's DMC threads. Uh, there is also uh, such a DMC pearl uh, white number eight. It's re it requires uh, uh, 202 high luster cranic number four, very fine braid. And the two colors of beads, this is going to be uh, the petite bead, it's uh, 479 and uh, 557, 557. So this one's, so I'm going to make out of all this plus DMC, I'm going to make a kit for the one of the winners, which the randomizer will um, show and I'll sell, send it uh, to the that person. Okay, and me, myself, I'm going to stitch this one as well during the summer. That's why this is the main reason I'm showing uh, to you. And summer is here that's why i um uh, i want to show you or it's time to show you my uh, next stage of um, the uh, design for wishes uh, so for wishes it's a um, band sampler by just nan uh, which comes uh, like for all season it starts with winter spring summer autumn and uh, I decided in January that I'm going to stitch this one uh, seasonally. So in the beginning of each season to stitch uh, the 
season that season it's a not it's not a new experience for me i uh, did it last uh, last year i also had a sampler by just nan which i stitched seasonally and i liked this one and i think i'm going to continue next year too um not necessarily taking uh, uh, one design which is uh, like with four seasons i can take like a series of designs which are also seasonal because i have such designs from just nan as well as 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 well uh, so let me show you closer what I have. So here it is. I started actually here with this band. So this is a row of frogs, three frogs. You know, in the beginning, I just started the, doing the cross stitches without looking in the um, band description. And I didn't, uh, because the um, chart is black and white, I didn't realize that they are frogs. And when I was already stitching, I thought, what? What the hell is this? And when I already looked at the um, um, description to see the backstitch, what color, there it was said that they are frogs. Uh, then is this um, band with uh, specialty stitches, these flowers. Then there is a band with uh, butterflies, which is um, made, um, everything is made out of backstitch and it was quite, quite a thing. <laughs> then it's uh, this this band which is cross stitch and spirna and there is space here because there is a beehive charm which has to be attached so it's this one i just attached the beads and the charms in the end because i'm stitching on quite small hoops and i would damage them that's why i'm doing just the stitches and then in the end i'm just uh, attaching the beads and the charm quickly because they are not so many so it's it's a thing which is usually quickly done uh, then there is a row of uh, ladybugs and bees. The bees are not finished because uh, the um, bodies of the bees are made with uh, uh, petite seed beads. Uh, yeah, not yellow, gold and uh, black. So they have to be done. And there is the, um, there are the words for summer, may summer hives be buzzing. And like the last thing, it was like this line of, again, speciality stitches. So, three fourths of the design is ready made. I uh, will stitch the remaining autumn part in the beginning of autumn, and I'll have a ready design. I am thinking now that uh, this design is going to be made into a bell pull, like the the one I made with the morning song because I liked it, and the design. Yes, I know it's a lot of uh, work to to do, but I don't want to frame it. Uh, in in a, in a frame i'll still uh i still want to make a band sampler i see in the end when it's going to be ready how it's going to be the finishing so far i have one more part so see you in autumn when i'll have that last part and my first summer design well, which i want to stitch it's uh, this design by just nan i mean to stitch in this uh, stitch along this is floral sunshine, it's called the design, so it looks just like this. It's just a piece of kind of cardboard. It's an old design, it has like 20 years old, the design. And um, it has such an embellishment pack. This is the butterfly, it's a baroque butterfly. And um, I have here the materials. The materials which are required, it's uh, the uh, 28th count white cashel and uh, i have a big uh, par big <laughs> how to say piece of fabric here because this one is newly bought i finished everything what i had in stash from uh, antique white i mean the 28th count so i bought a new piece for for this uh, uh, for this uh, design for to start this design because it's going to be for others as well and um, the dmc thread so these are the colors of the dmc thread which i used here it's like 12 13 colors and it requires also mill heel uh, beads this mill heel beads is going to be petite both are petite so this is 41 to 3 123 this is the cream petite quite popular and the even more popular the gold petite this is 4557 also, according to the key, it requires a craning. This is craning 3228, number four, very fine braid. I don't have it in my stash and I decided not to buy it, this uh, craning spool, because I looked in the chart and this craning will be needed just in uh, some backstitch. 
and it's not a lot of backstitch and um, I don't want to spend money now on that spool of cranic. I'm going to choose something from what I have in stash. I mean my cranic, what I have in stash and I'm sure that I'm going to find something. At least if, uh, because that cranic, if I'm not wrong, it's a kind, it's a um, shade of pink and I have pink cranic. If not, I'm going to use gold. For sure, it's not going to be bad. So I'll see till the end, I'll see and I'll show you which, uh, which is the the thing the replacement is going to be and um uh if to speak about the finishing because i want to finish this one as well like stitching it and make it into a something not leave it like this um i was thinking about the pink cushion um, it's possible to make a um biscornio as well but uh, i don't know why i'm feeling more for a pin cushion uh, I'm going to show you in uh, my next videos because I don't think I'm going to show you like in one of my next videos the ready work, but who knows, I can do this. Mm, I hope I'm going to show you the stitched parts, uh, uh, then I'll tell you about my decision. For sure, we'll find out for my next videos which uh, this piece is going to ter turn into. And um, well, the next designs which I would like to um, stitch in this um, um, stitch along. This is uh, the trio from Red Hat Stitcher, just none and Red Hat Stitcher. This is Marching Order, the Rewards and the Promise. Uh, there are like more designs in this series, but I have just this one, this ones, the three. Um, framing them in uh, one um, style, maybe in three frames, similar frames, maybe um, in one frame. I'm not sure. I'll see when it's going to finish. And uh, the thing is that all of them are stitched on the 28th count, but the um, fabric is different. So he is raw linen, this is flax, and this is white. I am tending to think that flax is going to be okay for the three of them. Um, so, so far I'm, I'm thinking that it's going to be flax, but I'll see. And, um, my first start, so I don't know why I, 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 I would like to start with this one, the reward, where is the hummingbird and the red bead. So this is how it looks like. And, um, the others, the, uh, promise has just a hat charm and, uh, purple beads, petite beads. Um, and the hat here, by the way, because I was sure for a lot of time until I had these designs into my stash, that the hats from um, Marching Warders and from this uh, this one, they are the same. But uh, in case you're interested of, of this, you see the promise, the uh, hat is uh, smaller and it's oval and Marching Warder, it's bigger and it's round, the hat. So the hat is different, and the only one which has uh, doesn't have beads but have some uh, has some uh, hand dyed threads. This is um, marching orders. So um, I would like to stitch this trio a lot because I was like looking for them, uh, picking them up, buying them. For some of them, I was like even which of them? If I'm not wrong, this one, the promise, uh, was the last one I got. I think it was this one, and I, I think that I, I remember that I was looking for it already, so it was hard to get. They are out of production, all of them. Um, a while ago it was easy to get them, but now it gets like harder and harder to buy out of production just now. Uh, it pops out even rarely, even rare, more rare on eBay, So, which is sad. But nevertheless, uh, Jasnan is uh, releasing new designs, nice designs. So there are a lot of things to stitch from this uh, designer. And one more design which I wanted to start. And I wanted to start this design since last uh, end of spring, start of summer. So this is such a Jasnan button and uh, beads from spring series. This is strawberries. And uh, I'm in love with it, this design. I am a big lover of strawberries. As uh, berries and um, so there is a B. Where, where are you, Mrs. B? No. There is a button here, a B. These are the beads. There is a, the dark uh, blue navy, I would say, um, perforated paper. I'm going to stitch on this perforated paper. I'm going. I'm not going to replace it with um, 
uh, fabric because uh, after finishing I'm going to uh, frame it in such a frame. I have such a um, dark blue frame from uh, Mill Hill, so it's going to be stitched and frame framed immediately. So in my next videos for sure I'm going to to show you the um, uh, how this project is going on and the ready framed uh, work because I'm sure it's going to be quick. But I'll see. I'm not sure of the. Uh, uh, difficulty of this design because some sometimes some just some uh, just nails I'm crazy about this just nails some uh, mill heels are easy and some of them are more or less like more complicated like I mean like the cross stitches the beads which have to be used in 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 into them so I'll see I'll tell you if this one is complicated that's everything I wanted to show you in this video I mean like the uh, new projects I want to start. Um, I'm happy and I'm very glad that I have new projects to start with. Uh, again, these are quite small projects, but I'm still working on myself to start larger projects and I think I will. <laughs> uh, that's why I don't miss my next videos, but until then, bye-bye.